All right. Hello, I am Jason Bates, owner of Electrum Financial, where a mortgage is not just a flip of the coin. Um, I'm making this video today to talk to you a little bit about the three different types of lenders that you're going to run into when shopping for a home loan. Don't forget to subscribe. Would appreciate that support. Tell your friends and family. Thank you very much. Um, so let's talk about the three different types of lenders that you may run into when shopping for a home loan or applying for a mortgage. Number one is the institutional lender, the big box bank, right? Chase, Wells Fargo. You know who they are, right? These FDIC members, credit unions, these are the, the institutional lenders. Pros on them, well, HELOCs. They do a good job on HELOCs, uh, very good job on HELOCs. In fact, probably the best job when it comes to a HELOC, home equity lines of credit, second mortgage. So if you're looking for that type of mortgage, probably go to the institutional lender. That would be my first choice if I were looking for that. Pricing, interest rates, decent, good, good interest rates, fair. Not the best, but good. Pri uh, costs, again, fair, middle ground, not the best, not the worst, fair. So um, those are the pros on them. You're not gonna get a bad deal by going to an institutional lender as long as you fit their box. That's the negative, right? They got a very tight box. If you don't fit that box, they won't even talk to you. They say they serve the community, but I don't know how they do that if they can't serve everyone in the community, right? But I get it. I get it. They can't serve everybody in the community. I use that loosely, just taking a little dig at them. Um, but anyway, um, very tight on their underwriting parameters, what they will and will not do. Service, horrible. Their service is horrible. If you talk to any anybody who's gone to the institutional lender, a lot of times their turn times are 60 days, even longer. Very, very bad. Um, Experience, very low on the experience poll. Most of the people that you talk to at the institutional level don't have a lot of experience. So if you're looking for experience, institutional lender, not good. All right, number two, mortgage banker. Mortgage banker, uh, in-house underwriting, in-house processing, in-house funding. Those are the pros. Those are the pros when it comes to, to, to them. Cons is that they're not very flexible. They're limited on their flexibility, I should say. Um, the institutional lender, not flexible at all. Mortgage banker, somewhat flexible, but not completely flexible uh, when it comes to their guidelines. Um, num their service, not bad. Their service can be pretty good. That's a pro uh, for a mortgage banker uh, service. So they don't really lack on the service. They, they can do a pretty good job in the servicing aspect of things. Um, costs, let's talk about costs. Not good. The worst of all three here, the worst as far as their costs go. So uh, if you're looking for the best rate at the lowest cost, uh, in, uh, banking, mortgage banker, not gonna be the place to go. It wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, so, um, but you know, if you want in-house underwriting, in-house processing, in-house uh, funding, then a mortgage banker is probably gonna be the best way to go. Now, number three, mortgage broker. That's what I am, mortgage broker offers the most flexibility of all three lenders at the lowest rate with the lowest costs, period. Um, and that covers just about every segment of underwriting, even lower credit score borrowers. Um, you know, a mortgage banker is gonna be pretty doggone good when it, or mortgage broker is gonna be pretty doggone good when it comes to even the lower FICO individual. Um, so, mortgage broker is kind of they are the most flexible we are the most flexible we because we deal with about 30 different lenders we can take your information put it with the right lender uh, for your particular situation and profile to get the job done and close on time um, now some would say the con might be on a mortgage broker and i gotta i gotta tell you i struggled with this a lot because i live it so sometimes it's kind of hell it's hard to self you know look at yourself and see what's wrong um, or what could be improved upon. And I would say um, that because there is an in-house underwriting, in-house processing, and in-house funding, that could be a detriment to the mortgage uh, broker. I can't just go over and tap somebody on the shoulder and say, hey, I need this done and I need it done right now. But if the file is set up properly at the beginning, there is no need for that. So that's where I struggle with that whole concept that you, know, you have to have in-house underwriting, processing, and funding. You really don't if you set the file up correctly, um, set your situation up correctly. Which brings me to another pro for mortgage broker, and that is general, as a general rule of 
of thought here, um, rule of thumb. Uh, so don't email me saying that I'm wrong about this. But as a general rule of thumb, most mortgage brokers have the most experience and are in tune with the market and what's happening. They're more intimately knowledgeable about what's happening in the market. And the reason I say this is because I work with 30 different lenders. So think about that for a minute. 30 different lenders I work with. I'm getting emails every single day about the different things that their risk analysis is telling them, what's happening, what's trending. And I'm getting all this from 30 different lenders. So when I'm getting it from 30 different lenders, I can see a pattern. I can see what's coming down the road. I can see what's what what the lenders are thinking, where they're kind of going with with certain things. Which if you watch some of my videos about overlays, I made a video about that overlays, right? What happened? More and more lenders started putting overlays in. Okay. But that brings me back to flexibility because once a lender does that, a broker can take your information. Okay, you got that overlay or you got that, you know, risk analysis. I can take that and put it over here with this other lender who doesn't have that risk analysis. Problem solved. So the most flexibility when it comes to that. So if I were shopping for a home loan, whether it be refinance or purchase, I would start with a mortgage broker. And then I would probably move to an institutional lender, bank, and then I would move to uh, a mortgage banker. Mortgage banker would be my least or my last choice just because of their pricing and their fees. At the end of the end of the day, the consumer needs to win. And the consumer wins by getting the best mortgage at the lowest cost with the best interest rate. That's how the consumer wins with professional service, of course. Um, but when you have the Johnny Cochran's of the world, right? I call them Johnny Cochran's because of the experience and things like that, that mortgage brokers have, you can hi hire Johnny Cochran or you can hire a public defendant. So uh, if you want the best service um, at the lowest cost, then you know, I would stick with a mortgage broker. That's my two cents. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a mortgage broker. I have the unique distinction of working for all three uh, throughout my career been in the business over 27 years so i've worked at all levels of mortgage lending and so um there's a reason why i'm a mortgage broker at this point in my career and i was a mortgage broker uh in 2000 back in 2000 so um been a mortgage broker for quite some time know it inside and out and i know what my competitors are doing because i'm always looking at my competitors to see what they can and cannot do so um, that's my two cents. And I know this isn't a two cent segment. This is just a segment to help you purchase a home and give you some direction as to where you should, uh, start your mortgage application process. So I hope that helps. And if you need a home loan in the state of Arizona, I certainly would be, love to be your lender of choice. So please reach out to me until then everyone have a great day and happy house hunting.